Here we want here's a question on factors. The question is write all factors of each of the following numbers. So factors. What do you mean by factors here? Factors is nothing but by which number this number twenty four is divisible, or or the number which can completely divide twenty four are called factors. In other words, in which all table twenty four goes, those are become the factors. Remember, you should completely divide it. Like I said, the first definition is the number which can divide twenty four. Like we can divide twenty four by two, right? Your answer will be twelve, and you get the remainder zero. So two will become factor of twenty four, like that. So the best is is just remember in which all table twenty four goes, and all those table will become factors of twenty four. Okay. Now let us find out the factors. And for this question, I'm going to use a simple uh, trick. It's not a trick, but you can apply this technique for any number which is smaller than hundred. You can apply that just two digit number. You can apply this one. Just check this number if it goes from one to ten table, it goes or not. That's it. So twenty four is a small number, so I'm going to apply this trick. So one into twenty four is twenty four. Remember, every number is multiple of one. So just write down here. We we'll start with one always. Now twenty four is an even number, so it should always goes in two table. So two twelve is twenty four. If you doesn't know how to get this, just divide twenty four by two. So two ones are two. One is a uh, zero is a remainder. Drop this four. Then two two is a four. You can see that we got a remainder as zero, right? So two twelve is twenty four. So like that, you can check by dividing it. Now we have three. So three eights are twenty four. Then we have four. Four six are twenty four. Then we have five, but it doesn't go in five table. The next number is six. So four six are and six fours are the both are same. So you do, you you should not write it down again. It you should not repeat it once again. So it's okay if you write down once. The next number is seven. It doesn't go in seven table. The next eight, but since we have written three eights are, it is same as eight threes are. So you don't have to write it again. The next we have is uh, nine. It doesn't go in nine table. Neither in ten table. So that's it. We got the factors here. So your factors will be one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. So it's very simple. It's very easy how to find out the factors. So let me conclude. Therefore. Factors of twenty-four are it's one, then two, then three, then four, then six. We have eight, we have twelve, and last one is twenty-four. So that's it. That's the first question. I hope it's clear how to find out. Now let's move on to the next question. I'm going to erase this part. Next here we have here we have a sixty-four. Same way, how we did for first one, the same thing. So one into sixty-four is sixty-four. It is a even number; it goes in two tables. So two, uh, thirty-two is a sixty-four. Then sixty-four doesn't go in three table; it goes in four table. Four sixteen is a sixteen. Four is a sixty-four, right? So you can divide and check out. If you doesn't know, just divide sixty-four by four to get the answer. Four ones are four. Two is a remainder. Drop this four. So four six is a twenty-four, right? So here we got four sixteen is a twenty-four, and the next we have here is uh, eight 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 is a sixty-four. It doesn't go in nine table, neither in ten table, and uh, that's it. So we can stop here. So write down the factors of sixty-four. So like I said for the previous question. It's one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and sixty-four. So let me just conclude here. So eight is repeating two times, but just write down once. The factor eight comes only once here. Therefore, factors of sixty-four are. So first one is one, then. Two, then four, then we have eight, then sixteen, then thirty-two, and the last one is sixty-four itself. So that's it. I hope it's clear how to find out the factors. Now, in case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. And thank you so much for watching.